was hurtful to her. Sure. And she kind of had to play the politics game, but that's not what she does. No. And so I'm saying, I'm using that as an example of what you're saying is how we, um, especially black males, mm -hmm. like I said from the beginning, from yeah. the onset, is that it's black males is the focus of all this. And so if people are upset, they could just be mad. Hey. Okay, at this point. I'm, yeah. I really, frankly, don't care anymore. No. Um, so whether people tune in to listen, what have you, people need to know this is what's going on what's in our school on. systems and all around us. Right. Okay, so if you want to improve that, you know, make you have to changes. make just make some changes. That's true. It's just that simple. You know, it's interesting too that you said that because, you know, my five-year-old was just a place in the school system that I clearly told his mother that I didn't want him in. Exactly. And I can speak from a black boy's perspective because I used to be one. And I knew when the teacher didn't like me, I may not have understood why. Because in school, it's, 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 it's the great P that governs the relationship between teacher and student. Right. That P is called uh, perception. Perception. The way that the teacher perceives the student. Exactly. So if the little black boy is perceived negatively by the student, it's going to reflect in his behavior because he can feel that this teacher actually doesn't like him. He doesn't understand it, but he can, he feel, can feel it. He can feel it. He can absolutely. So it's going to show up in his, uh, his, his work, his attitude, his behavior. And um, the last thing that he needs when he's in a racist school system is for his mom to come up to the school and, sh and grab him by the shirt, like you saw in World Star Hip Hop, and drag him out, you know, and beat him in front of these teachers, right? Whereas if somebody said, if this was a little black girl and this was being done by a father, what would have happened then? Oh my God. A father drags Can his you daughter imagine? out, dangling by her shirt and Can whoops you? her in front of the, what would be the, what would be the headlines? Can you imagine? What would be the headline? How would that be? It would be literally like the Christ image on when he was crucified, yes. literally. Everyone would be in on one accord now. Everybody the would The Holy be on one Spirit accord. would quicken motherfuckers' spirits. <laughs> yeah. Everybody would be speaking in cloven tongue uh, and all saying the same language, you know, like it's, the... You, nigga. Can you imagine? Man? So, yeah, but, it, but if it's a black woman doing it to a boy... It's, you know, and a black boy, like you said, it's, under, it's it's a little excusable. It's excusable. Because he must deserve that. Yeah, but he, he doesn't He's have challenging yes. the system, apparently. apparently. And that you can't do. No, you cannot do. So you break him. You break that buck. You got to break him. You break that buck to make sure that you you sit quietly like like little Jessica. Yeah. And you say, yes, Mrs. Anderson. It makes Anderson. me sick, more. Yes. It makes It's making me sick. Yes. Yes, this is where, our, this is where this, we at. Yep. So wouldn't you say then that part of the enemy are the co-conspirators of the society, which in the black community, if one out of three black males, right, are in prison, right. what role then does the, uh, the custodial parent in the household have to do with that? It's so funny because today I was actually having this conversation um, with my dad mm. and his argument was, the men that are non-custodial parents, because mm -hmm. most of the women, women are the custodial That's parents. That's correct. Um, it's the men's fault that these children turn out like that. Mm. I said, but how could that be when the woman is raising them? She's a custodial parent. Yes. yes. She's making the decisions. The mm -hmm. government, the system says she's allowed to make the decision what's best for the child. Right. And we're seeing that that's not true. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. not true at all. And so their role mm -hmm. is really um, keeping the child and keeping the, the non-custodial parent in a, a tangled web yeah. of never advancing, going for child support, yeah. going, I mean, section eight, your welfare, all of these different government um, uh, grants that they yeah. give you, subsidies. subsidies and all of these different things sure. to keep you and keep that man tangled up. That's true too. But so the custodial parent understands that. They do. 
And the system laid out all their goodies yeah. that they can come, yeah. fill out their paperwork. Like yeah. I always talk about how to go fill out their paperwork. Right. Yes. If, in order to get this, you know, get this home, you did you take them to child support? Well, he's raising us. Oh, we can't have you have him in the life of the child now. Yeah. So you got to file some papers. Yes. Let's, let's, and then we'll take it from here. You will take it from here. We'll take it. We know what to do with him. Right. We already know. We have hundreds of years of knowing what to do with the black male. Exactly. We know what to do with, with the that. black woman as the mistress of the household. Exactly. It's interesting too because black women with these degrees, like you said, they always complain that there are no husbands right. for them. But you weren't cultivated in the society to be a wife. You weren't. So a wife doesn't deserve a husband. A wife deserves dick on the weekends, maybe. <laughs> Uh, from the younger guys, uh, when she starts getting older, this and that and the third, but, or from the bisexual male, cause I'm seeing this as a trend. Yeah. With a lot of women nowadays sitting at the dinner table with clearly a bisexual male. And yet will shame a 100% heterosexual male that these females know is 100% heterosexual right. but they'll shame him with this well you must be gay or you may you know you're mad at your mother uh, right. who hurt you all of the shaming tactics. yeah the shaming taxes is the who hurt you yeah uh, what's the other one you must be gay right um, if I had a violin right now, I'd be playing while you're uh, <laughs> What's the other ones? It's, it's a couple others. Uh, you must be gay. Must, uh, um, the who hurt you. Who hurt you. You must have mommy issues. You have mommy issues. Sometimes they might say daddy issues. Dad, yes, yeah, those. It's the same uh, talking points. It's the same talking points. And like a parrot, it's, all of these educated women say the same thing. So as soon as they start talking, I'm saying in the back of my mind, wait for it, wait <laughs> for it, and then bam, there it is. And it's just- It never fails. But they're so educated. This exactly. is This is interesting. So, um, with this gloves off game. Yes. What do you wish to achieve with this work? Well, what I wish to achieve is understanding. Mm -hmm. I want a voice of, uh, even when people tell me, man, your clients or people that come to you to get your hair done, mm -hmm. they're not gonna like, this how you feel about women. All my people that come to me on a regular, my clients, yep. we have real conversations. Yep. And I have genuine love for my people. That's correct. Everybody knows that, and whether they're male friends. or female. Right. You understand what I'm saying? That's so true. they know that. People That's that know true. me know that. That's correct. Um, but I'm just sick of the agenda on black men and it's, and it's starting to make my stomach turn. Yeah. Literally. Yeah. When I see, like you said, the boy getting dragged out, we getting gunned down, people uh, just treating black men like shit. Yes. And so I'm tired of it. That's and so true. I'm saying I want to be the voice, I guess, uh, what they say, of reason hey. or um, some type of sense and all this nonsense. Yes. So whether people say they won't come back to me to get their hair cut or hair done, yeah. I know I'm still the best in the hey. game with that. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> so that doesn't bother me, but that's not where I make my bread and butter anyway. Right. So I'm saying my, my goal is to just really bring awareness to where we're going as a society yes. and where we need to be going. Right. Uh, where we're going, I mean, where they're trying to lead us to, let's put it like that. Yeah. But where as a people, especially black males, mm -hmm. are where we need to be going. Because most black men, let me tell you this too, most black males are afraid yes. they are. to even speak. That's I true. have a lot of them on my social media uh, mm -hmm. page that are super, they talk masculine. Right. But they're really scared of speaking the truth because we are in a gynocracy. Mm -hmm. Women rule. Yes. And they get most of their money from women. They mm -hmm. pass through women the bag, yeah. the jobs, yeah. which is why women complain about men don't make as much money as they do. And they get they 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 they, they get their, their 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 pussy from their girlfriends and their wives. And yeah. certainly they don't want to mess Upset up that, that. that connection. Right. Cause they, <laughs> you know. So men are led by that. Whereas I'm not. 
So they won't say no. what they'll say in a barber shop. No, they won't. There's no women around. They won't. Because I've heard them do it. Right. But then you don't see the likes and you don't see them speak up when right. you make posts. Exactly. That might make, you know, that might compromise their pussy connection. Yes. Yeah. And that's really what most men are worried about. Yeah. Is the whole sexual access, mm -hmm. if I say this, or even some business. Sure. No. What they don't understand is that women don't respect them anyway. No, they if, don't. If they're not real men. No, they Let's don't. Let's keep it 100. They we, do not. I definitely know that. That's true. Women may be mad at me and talk all this, but I also know them panties will be coming off hey. with nobody, you know, looking. With, you know what I'm saying? With, with the wetness. <laughs> so I understand that. Yeah. So all that they say and get mad about things yeah. that I'm saying and doing, I know it's all BS. It's bullshit. They don't want their men no, or any males to get any to balls. Get, to get any balls. Yeah. Because one on one in long exposure, when that hand goes behind that head and it starts caressing that, that head <laughs> and I start bringing her in, them lips is ready. Yeah. So, you know, I'm just saying, you know, but they try to pretend because they got, like you said, the society supporting it. Yes. And um, so what do you feel? is going to be the long-term effects of that. I mean, in terms of our so-called black community, or let me ask you this, is there a black community? Right now, we don't have a community at all. Mm -hmm. Anytime you got mm -hmm. niggas out here fighting right. and dying, yes. and it's crazy, because this morning I thought about it, it just hit me, I said, we're dying over chicken sandwiches. A chicken sandwich. It's, it's worse than I thought in the minds of our people. Actually. Yeah. yeah. And if men are involved in that, yeah. it's because we have to go back to where did they learn the crux of their um, humanity and manhood from? Yes. If it wasn't dad, well, who is the custodial parent? In the custodial house? parent is the female principal in the home, mm -hmm. the way we know it, yeah. as of right now, yeah. uh, which is led by the white male patriarchal system mm -hmm. okay which she has to fit into and she please does. her daddy that's yeah. really her daddy yeah because she she can't get those benefits she can't get the benefits she, yeah. she can't get the job nope. she can't go to school right she can't get all the things she wants yeah. so my job is to pull the dress up hey uh and expose all of that right and say here's the funny thing women y'all don't have to do this anymore meaning you're kissing ass to a system that's falling. Your daddy is broke. Yes. They don't Your daddy understand. is broke. They really don't understand that. And it's going down. It's going. I was talking with somebody too, who, and I was telling them, I said, um, I said, do you really know right now the buying power of a $100 bill? And I wow. told them, I said, it's less than two bucks. Less than two dollars. Less than two dollars. Compared to the $100 bill in 1913 when the dollar was still backed by gold. But compared to now, where it's just monopoly money. Yeah. They have to keep printing more to keep this bubble going. And it's, it's, it's the women should not be the head of the household. No, they shouldn't. When they don't understand these types of things. They don't understand it at all. We Zero. live in the second richest county in the United States. And already since we've been here, one of the biggest stores department stores, right right in the area, is closing for good. Lord and Taylor is it's over. Closed. And that's happened since we've been here. Yeah, Lord and Taylor is closing it's down. It's closing down. And yet and still, you keep bragging about your degree and your this and your that, and your boys are being fed into the system like food, like a chicken sandwich from, from Popeyes. Right. But, you know, and they forcing, and see, as we turn up, I mean, as the system sink more and more, sure. our women are going to be force feeding, like trying to push it through the grinder of all these black boys to say, Massa, can we help the system anymore? Yeah. Subconsciously. Sure. Pushing them through the grinder. Come yeah. on. Just all of them. Instead of just one smushing time, them through. Yeah. Put, put both of my boys through <laughs> at the same time. Literally. Let's see if we can get two in at the same time. Literally. Yeah. So that's really where we at. And, um, you know, we just gonna have to just shed light on it going forward. And, you know. Straight gloves off. Straight gloves off. Okay.
Okay, well that's what's up. Yes, sir. <laughs> well, right. it was a pleasure with this first uh, show, and yeah. um, it's more to come. More to come. All right, one. peace.